가서 Angie, are you ready for this? I am ready! Good. You're collecting beach plastics to study bacteria. Laura, what are you looking at? I'm surveying the beach for plastics itself. All right, let's do it. We're looking today basically for anything we can find on a beach because we just want to know what washes up typically on a standard section of, of a beach in San Juan. We have a, uh, just an arbitrary starting point, and from there, we mark off uh, 50 or 100 meter sections. And within those sections, we pick random one or five meter sections that we look at more intently. So we're not just cherry picking the parts that have the most plastic, so our data doesn't get skewed. What do you think these are from? Looks like a toy bucket. Look, looks like right? a bucket. Yeah, like a so toy bucket. Plastic. We're going to do the same uh, beach cleanup survey uh, for plastics uh, at every port stop. This is one of the size of pieces that we have uh, from the New Santos. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be doing New Santos leaving Puerto Rico and coming into each of the port stops. So we'll be able to see kind of size classification wise in general. Are things big, small? How long have they, how long did they take to get here? Correct. Did they originate here? For my oceanography project, I'm collecting plastic samples, plastic that is floating around in the water. And I'm going to take them back to the lab and try to culture E. coli on the plastic. Because we know plastic in the ocean is bad, obviously. We, you know, animals can eat it, and then if we eat the animals, the toxins in the plastic can go into us. What hasn't quite been studied is what types of bacteria are traveling on the plastic. If I can culture E. coli on the plastic, that means that there could be a whole field of things that are living on the plastic. So anything that travels in the ocean could be potentially bringing different bacteria to places where they normally wouldn't be found. And that could have serious adverse effects on anywhere the plastic lands. So I just finished collecting three samples. So I found two pieces of plastic that were floating and then one that was stuck underneath the rock. So it's obviously been in the water for a while. And now I'm just kind of describing where I found the plastics. So when I get my results, I can compare the different beaches to each other. I, why would you not want to be here right now? It's incredible. It's warm. The water is warm. It's beautiful. And we're doing science. It, just, it really doesn't get any better. It's one thing to see 50 bottle caps on a beach. It's another thing to actually walk and have to pick up every single one of those bottle caps to really understand how much plastic is really out here. I mean, I knew there was going to be a lot, but this is really driving home how, how big of a problem plastics are for the ocean and certainly for beach fronts. After I got back from the beach, I took my control samples, which was the water that I just gathered in the same area that didn't have any plastic in it, and I filtered that through filtering paper. And then with the plastic samples, I scraped some of the plastic, and then overnight for the last 23 hours, they sat in the library and incubation room, and the bacteria grew on them. These are our control samples, which have very few of anything on them. And then this, for example, is the water bottle that had the barnacles growing on it. So most of the pinkish purple ones are coliforms, but then the blue ones and some of the purple ones are actually E. coli. We know that the oceans are filled with different bacterial communities, but this particular EPA water quality testing is looking for very specific types of bacterial communities. And what we're finding is, it seems like the bacteria that we're testing for are found only on the plastic floating around in the oceans, but we're not finding it free-floating in the, the ocean water itself. So there are potentially novel bacterial communities residing on the plastic and potentially using the plastics as a, a transport vehicle uh, to move from one location to the next.